CGI resurrections, Twitter lawsuits, and a spat over a small fortune. This is the story of James Dean's iconic legacy. James Dean is a celebrated Hollywood icon, one whose life ended far too soon. Known for his roles in East of Eden and Rebel Without a Cause, Dean's short film career has transcended generations, and his prevailing legacy continues to embody American youth in the 1950s. Though he started his career in Los Angeles, Dean moved to New York to work on Broadway. This later led famed director Aaliyah Kazan to cast the young actor in the on-screen adaptation of East of Eden. The film would eventually launch Dean into superstardom. To celebrate the film's success, Dean bought himself a brand new Porsche. Dean loved racing and entered organized races a couple of times as his acting career was taking off. He had already participated in races in Palm Springs, Bakersfield, and Santa Barbara when he decided to compete in one in Salinas, California. He replaced his old Porsche with a shiny new silver Porsche Spider in September 1955. Dean finished shooting his final film, Giant, on September 23, 1955. Soon after, Dean and his mechanic headed to Salinas in the Spider. Although he thought about towing his car to the race, Dean decided against it and got behind the wheel instead. But Dean and his mechanic never made it to Salinas. On September 30, 1955, James Dean's Spider collided with a Ford sedan at an intersection in California. Though both the 23-year-old driver of the other vehicle and the mechanic survived, Dean died instantly. He was only 24. At the time of his death, Rebel Without a Cause and Giant had yet to be released. Strangely, only a few months earlier, he had starred in a safe driving PSA. Take it easy driving. The life you might say might be mine. You know? <laughs> Although Dean had been pulled over for speeding earlier in the day, it's believed he was only driving around 60 miles per hour at the time of the crash. Ultimately, the Ford was believed to be at fault for the crash, as it had tried to make a left turn while the Spider was heading towards it. Dean received two Oscar nominations after his death, one for East of Eden and the other for Giant. Because he was so young, he did not have a will in place at the time. Thus, his estate automatically went to his father, Winton Dean, as Dean's mother had died when he was a child. Dean only had about $100,000 in assets at the time of his death. However, his tragic demise quickly made him into a legend and icon. Simply put, he was going to be wealthier in death than he was while alive. As a result, Dean's father created the James Dean Foundation Trust in order to increase the commercial value of his son's name. In 1991, the James Dean Foundation won a lawsuit against Warner Brothers when it was ruled that Dean's heirs had the sole rights to profit from his name and memory. Warner Brothers had sued the foundation because they believed that they held rights of publicity due to contracts Dean had signed while he was still alive and working for the studio. A court ruled that although Warner Brothers could use his name and likeness to promote films, Dean's family held all other rights. The controversy didn't end there, though. In 2014, Dean's heirs sued Twitter and a number of Twitter users. The lawsuit specifically targeted a user under the name at James Dean. The family stated that his name and images could not be used without their consent. However, the lawsuit was later dropped because they failed to reveal who was behind any of these fan accounts. At James Dean was later suspended from Twitter and the username has not been used since. Nearly 67 years after his death, Celebrity Net Worth estimates that Dean's estate still earns six figures annually. Although he only starred in three films, it's reported that his likeness and image generates $5 million a year. In 2019, it was announced that CGI was going to be used to resurrect Dean for a Vietnam movie titled Finding Jack. The role was given to the late actor when Elvis's estate turned down the offer. The movie's announcement stirred a fair bit of controversy in Hollywood and the media, however, and the whole project was shelved soon after. <laughs>